Hi guys. Um, I know you're probably watching this and thinking, what is she doing? <laughs> um, I did my Red Mist look and I figured I would follow it up with a Hit Girl look. So this is it. Um, the mask is done with total makeup. I was actually Hit Girl for Halloween this year. For ha uh, I was actually Hit Girl for Halloween this year. Um, but I did not use a makeup mask. I kind of wish that I did because the the fabric mask that I used got like ripped and fell off my face <laughs> halfway through the night. But um, I am totally obsessed with Kick-Ass. If you can't tell, every single video I have, you can see that in the background. I have the first series in book form, in like the graphic novel form, and that's Hit Girl right there, and she looks a little bit different in the comic book. And then I'm starting to read the Kick-Ass 2, which is the second installment, which is going to be for the Kick-Ass Kick 2 movie. And Hit Girl is one of my favorite characters out of all of them. Um, she's just freaking awesome. I wish I was that cool at like 11. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is my Kick-Ass look. Um, uh, a simple costume to be um, Hit Girl. You can just get purple wig which you can actually order on Amazon or if it's around Halloween time a lot of places sell it. You can do this makeup, put on a purple shirt, black cape, get a pink and purple or just pink or purple whatever plaid skirt, purple leggings and boots and you can just rock that hit girl off that costume. That um, I, I'm, I'm gonna repeat again later on probably is I had like the full-blown costume that I actually bought online. It had like the utility belt and everything and it is so fucking badass. I will maybe post pictures in the video of me on Halloween, but if not, if you guys just want to see it, like, I'll maybe post pictures of it later, um, but this is the look, um, I tried to do it, like, live going into it, and I knew that I was gonna have to edit it down a lot, so it's just, like, the stages of me doing it, like, the best that I can, <laughs> um, my camera was almost, is almost a diet right now from filming the whole thing, so, um, I hope you guys like the video, let me know what you think, and yeah. Bye. Okay, I'm probably not going to record this whole thing because it's going to take forever to do. But, um, the first thing that I'm going to take is my L'Oreal Hip, yeah, L'Oreal Hip Gel Liner. It's the purple one. It's an eggplant or whatever. I'm going to take that and an angled brush like this. And... I'm just going to run it on the top and just kind of get a little bit on it. You don't really need a lot. And start to form a mask. Okay, now you want to get kind of like the shape of a mask on your face. You can kind of do any shape. I kind of just did like the classic whatever shape. Hers goes, for the most part, I think, not in the comic but in the movie, hers goes straight across which would be kind of difficult. But like, you can kind of go like that, it doesn't really matter. Um, for Halloween I had the mask that goes like this because I didn't like the one that kind of went straight across. So I do that. It looks kind of sloppy right now, but we're gonna fix it. So, um, once you use the L'Oreal Hip one to kind of just get a... The reason why I use this instead of the NYX one first is because it just kind of le it just won't smudge, it won't move, so that's why I do that. Now I'm going to take the NYX, and you can trace it on, or you can just put it on. I'm just going to use the tip, run it across the tip like this, and just start filling in. There. Like, see how I'm going like that with it? I am just filling it in.
what do our readings today tell us about marriage? Well, it's a union. Okay, um, after I took the NYX Jumbo Eyeshadow Pencil, this is in, what is the color name, no idea, oh, Purple Velvet, this is in Purple Velvet. You can use any kind of cream shadow, like, whatever, I just did it so the other ones would stick. <laughs> um, I just used the NYX Jumbo on my Eyeshadow Pencil, you can use, like, tiny eyeshadow, like the, um, eyeliner, purple eyeliner will work the same. It'll probably take a lot longer than this, but whatever. Um, and I just filled it in. I didn't do all the way up to the eyes, because that's going to be a little bit different later. Um, just sharpening it. Um, now I'm going to do closer to the eyes. I just left it for right now. <sighs> Alright, um... I even brought it right up to like the bottom of the eyes. But now I'm taking my NYX Jumbo Eyeshadow Pencil. And I'm going down a little bit lower. Now you can do that whole thing where you um, blend your eyebrows in. But I'm just not bothering. You can if you want to. I'm just not. And color all the way down on my eyebrow. Down to my last line. Now, once I finish that, I've taken just one of these kind of sponges. And I just kind of like made it less blotty, I guess, if you want to. That's even a word. Alright. Now you can see that because I used this, it's like not. Well, right there was when I was doing it. But like, it's kept the solid line so it's been easier to fill in without messing it up. Alright. Now I'm taking my. NYX eyeshadow in black and okay. I'm just taking my a flat brush and I'm gonna fill it in not all of it in though but I'm gonna fill most of it in the reason why I did purple underneath is because it kind of if you put the black on like this, like if you just take it on your, and you just kind of press it on, but not really like, you can see the purple through it. Now, I'm not bringing that up all the way. I'm bringing it all the way up to here, but when I get to the lid, it's going to be totally different. I'm just bringing it up probably to like right here, and then I'll show you what I do next. Um, you're going to bring all the black up until like not quite all the way up to the lines now if you have a little bit of like if you mess it up when you're doing the ends that's fine you're just going to take a q-tip and some eye makeup remover and just kind of if you want to touch it up if not it's alright if it's a little bit messy because the inspiration I pulled it from on my poster back there like her mask looks like it's all like drippy and stuff so that's fine um now I'm going to take purple. This is Deep Purple from NYX. And I'm just going to put it on a flat brush like this. And I'm going to put it on the remaining purple that I have. But I'm going to blend it with the black. So it looks like the purple is fade, like fades into the black. Where's my wife? Your wife is gone. 
Now it's going to be really, really easy to blend it because of the um, the jumbo eyeshadow pencil underneath it. So it should be really, really easy just to kind of blend the two together. Okay, so once you have all of that done, as you can see, like, I know her mask is all black, but it just adds a little bit of depth to it. Now I'm going to take my favorite mascara and eyeliner, and I'm just going to line my eyes so it looks like a little bit more feminine, and put some kind of really dramatic eye ugh, out of mascara on. Okay, so what I am doing next after I put my wig on is totally optional. Um, she doesn't really wear it in the movie at all, but in the movie poster she has like bright pink lipstick on in some of the pictures. So I'm going to be doing that. I'm taking the NYX uh, lip pencil, I forgot what the color, in pinky, this is bright pink, and I'm going to line my lips with that. So you are done doing that, or I'm doing that. You can take any bright pink lipstick. This is a new CoverGirl lipstick, which I am totally in love with. It's called Spellbound. Which is just really bright pink. I am going to be doing a video on the new CoverGirl lipstick, actually. With your lipstick, you are totally done with your look. Now all you need is a purple wig, purple shirt, cape, pink plaid, and pur pink and purple plaid skirt. Um, you can use purple leggings, black boots, and you're basically complete if you want to just kind of go for an easy hit girl look. I actually bought the full costume, which I'm not going to put on right now, so I just kind of threw on a purple shirt, and yeah, that's my hit girl costume, so I hope I helped you guys out. I hope you, some of you guys like this. I know some of you will be like, what the fuck? But, um, comments and all that stuff is awesome. Um, let me know what you guys think, and... I've actually had something going on. Yeah.